Thank you for joining us for another 3CX user tips. Today, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to configure a call queue with 3CX version 20. If your requirements are more complex and you need advanced call routing, music on hold, an intro prompt, a callback feature, or advanced analytics, then you will need to use a call queue. So let's get started. First, log into the 3CX browser client and go to the admin section. Then click on call handling and finally add queue. Add a queue name, assign DID numbers, and then select the type of polling strategy. Call Queues provides nine polling options with a professional license and 13 options with an enterprise license, including skills-based routing. Next, select which department you want to assign this queue to and select the number of seconds for the ring time and also the maximum queue wait time. Finally, choose your destination if no answer. For office closed, break times, and holidays. Each dropdown offers the same variety of routing options. In the Users tab, click on Add User and select the extension you wish to add. Drag and drop users to change their sequential order. You can add as many users as needed. In the Notifications tab, add queue managers who can have oversight into queue performance and ensure customer satisfaction is off the charts. The manager can also be notified when SLA times have been breached, when callbacks are made, when callbacks fail, or when a queue call is lost. In the Options tab is where you can change queue language prompts, add music on hold, record a custom intro prompt, enable AI transcriptions, and more. Finally, in the Advanced tab, you can enable a callback where users can maintain their place in the queue without having to stay on an active call. You can also customize wrap-up times, maximum callers in the queue, configure SLA time, and enable queue call recordings if needed. Click Save and you are finished. Well done. You have now successfully configured a 3CX call queue. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3CX user tips.